Hey everybody, it is Gumpla Melly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little bit of a different kind of review. It's not Gundam, it's not Gumpla, and it's not even model kit related content. Today I'm actually going to be talking about a new 3D printer I got recently. And I'm super, super excited to show you guys and what I've created with it. So today I'm going to be reviewing, drum roll please, the new Elegoo Mars 5 Ultra. Now, I have previously dabbled my feet into 3D printing and it was great getting into it, but it also caused a lot of frustration. So I kind of stopped 3D printing. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I was creating a lot of things and then it kind of just fell off with me because a lot of my prints ended up failing and it was frustrating. If you don't know anything about 3D printing, just know that prints take a few hours to print and then when I say failed I mean like you don't get a print it's either cracked or broken or half of it printed or who knows what but after waiting all that time you end up with nothing and it's frustrating when that happens and it's even more frustrating when you don't know why your print failed and my prints were failing all the time and I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong because I am a beginner when it comes to 3d printing I'm not very tech savvy. I'm not into the whole computer stuff. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, I'm not. And uh, I don't have a computer science background. I don't know if that makes it easier to 3D print. I don't know, okay? My little sister, she's a whiz. She does all the coding, like matrix numbers, all that stuff, she does that. She has a 3D printing channel, which I'll put her information down below. Shout out to Everyday Nerdy. She's the best. She's always helped me with 3D printing things. And I'm gonna let you, go, I'm gonna let you guys know right now off the bat, I didn't need to call her not one time, not once for this printer, where I have with my other printers. So before even starting printing with this one, I already had my kind of doubts about it, but I really wanted to try again. So I was like, you know what, let me, let me just try again and see if I can make 3D printing work. Because like I said, it's pretty challenging. And at least for me, it's somewhat intimidating what's involved in 3d printing it's not like you can just download a file transfer to a printer hit print and it comes out perfect that's not the case with 3d printing it does require some kind of understanding and figuring out and knowing the process to get successful and nice looking prints so like i was saying earlier i was a little intimidated from my previous experience i'm just like mm, i don't know but i was like you know what let me try it because i really want to 3d print things again so off the bat this printer has been amazing it has been so much fun it's completely changed my perspective on 3d printing coming from a complete beginner so let me show you guys the printer up close and go over some of the specs the Mars 5 Ultra has a 4K monochrome LCD screen, which comes with a durable anti-scratch film that effectively prolongs its lifespan. It delivers incredibly detailed prints with improved speed and efficacy. The laser engraved build plate offers excellent adhesion during printing for effortless print removal, and there's also a camera that allows you to view the printing process in real time and record the whole printing process in a time lapse. The AI camera also detects errors in real time, guiding you to flawless results. You don't have to worry about an empty build plate or model warps again. The camera monitors every step, instantly alerting you to any errors for immediate resolution. Setup and operation are streamlined within the user-friendly touchscreen interface. There are multiple languages and a brand new UI design. It's intuitive and responsive, making it super easy to navigate through settings and monitor your prints. The Mars 5 Ultra also has connectivity features, allowing you to monitor and control your prints remotely via the Elegoo app. The Mars 5 Ultra also has automatic leveling and features a tilt release mechanism, which enables swift model peeling from the release film, ensuring lightning fast printing without compromising on detail, accuracy, or reliability. The Mars 5 Ultra also has this really cool dip tray. It basically prevents your resin from spilling, maintaining a clean workspace and enhancing safety. As you guys can see, it's caught quite a lot of spillage already. Here's some of the prints I've done while having the printer so far. For instance, on this alien miniature, I was able to do all the small details, which came out really amazing. The Mars 5 Ultra also comes with a smart self-check to make sure its components are functioning correctly before starting prints. 
some other prints that I painted slash started to paint. As you guys can see, I did quite a few different Pokemon, some Digimon, because you guys know I'm a big Digimon fan, as well as some Dragon Ball Z stuff, because again, I'm a big DBZ fan, and they came out really freaking nice. Okay, so for my thoughts, for the conclusion of this video. Now, like I mentioned previously, I am not by no means a 3D printing professional, someone with tons of experience, I don't. So this video is gonna be geared more towards people who wanna get into 3D printing, people who are complete beginners like me, knowing, hey, is this a good printer for me or maybe I need to look elsewhere. So coming from me, now that you know my background with 3D printing, I say absolutely freaking yes. This printer has had, it's just, it's been so much fun to print things and it's been fun not having those frustrations, at least with me, I have not had any frustrating moments with this printer. The software that it uses, the ch Chutlu or, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's what I've been using for this um, printer. It's very easy to use. Like I'm not having any issues. I know there's more videos on YouTube that go, go into way more detail about this printer. So if you guys wanna know way more the specs and stuff, then look them up. I think Uncle Jesse did a video on, on this printer and my sister loves him by the way. So you can check his channel out. He's a really good 3D printing channel. But I guess I'm, this is more for like complete beginners just wondering, you know, could this printer work for me? Who are somewhat intimidated by 3D printing like me? Then I say yes, definitely go for this printer because if I could figure this out, then you can definitely figure it out, okay? Because like, I'm not tech savvy at all. Which is again, one of the reasons why I was very hesitant to get back into 3D printing because my past experiences wasn't the best. So I think that technology has advanced significantly from what I used in the past. So I really don't have anything bad to say. I really enjoy this printer. I have so many more prints that I have planned in the future. I mean, you guys could see all the stuff I printed out just in the little bit of time that I had the printer. I've been going kind of ham a little bit. I've had to buy two more jugs of resin. That's how quickly I've gone through the resin from all the print jobs. And I have so many more I want to do. I am really into board games, which is why I wanted to get another 3D printer to begin with because for board games, you can print out so many things, miniatures, tokens, stuff for resources. It's just like the list is endless when it comes to printing out things for board games. And that's where my interest really, and, and, and figures too, I'm not gonna lie, and figures. Um, I wanna try, you know, learn, trying painting and things like that. But anyways, yeah, what I really wanted was something for my board games and 3D printing is where it's at in terms of board games. I mean, you could buy buy the 3D printed things, but that costs money and it adds up. So I kind of just want to create my own, not create my own, but print out my own things for my games. So that's where this printer has come in very handy and I'm super excited to fully deck out a lot of my favorite board games with 3D printing, 3D printed accessories. And I know my neighbor already is like waiting for me to get bored with the printer because he has a lot of, um, what is it, War Warham 40, 40K things that he wants to print out. And he's like waiting for me to be bored with this so he can take it and use it for himself. Um, so if you're watching this, you're gonna have to wait a long time, okay, buddy? Because I'm printing a lot of things right now or have a list of things to print out. But anyways, before I continue rambling, because y'all know I like to ramble to myself with a camera right here. <laughs> what I do best, okay? It's what I've been doing it for a long time now. It's like this is my safe zone right here, talking to the camera, listening to myself. But anyways, that is going to be it. That is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a little different from what I normally do, but yeah, I wanna try something new again. And again, a big thank you to Elegu for sponsoring today's video and sending me this amazing printer to continue using, which I'm super excited about. And yeah, that's gonna be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you around for the next one.
Adios. And as always, I want to give a big thank you to all the people over my Patreon for always supporting my channel, especially my gold tier members who are Chris Wright and Michael Lyons, my silver tier, Rico Stealth and The Gunsmith, and all my ultimate fans who are Hassan Boss, Irvin Jebito On, Skelty12, William Tony. Thank you guys for all the support.